Alrighty. <clears throat> Good morning, Facebook. I have a feeling that my hair keeps on getting worse and worse on these lives. Um, so I appreciate that, uh, yeah, I can be myself and I don't have to be any particular way, which is good. It's good indeed. <clears throat> now, as you can see, again, just strolling. Actually, I'm going to start heading home now from Monday, but, um, yeah, I've been thinking about this topic for the last, uh, probably a couple of days and I was trying to think when would be the right time to actually, uh, do a Facebook live on it. And I thought Monday morning when we're all going back to the jobs and, and all of that side of things, I think it was a good time to just challenge that thought, you know, whose life are you really living? Just ponder that for a moment. It's, um, yeah, I know for myself, um, going back, well, probably realistically not all that long ago, but, um, I was always living for the approval of other people and like particular people, parents, that side of things. And, you know, to a degree, of course, you want to make, you want to make them proud. You want to, um, you know, be everything that um, they want you to be. But at the same time, there comes a point where you've got to really stop and analyze and think for yourself. Am I living life for me or am I living it for other people? And whose idea of life am I living? It's easy to get caught up in um, I guess the social norms or um, somebody else's ideas and views and everything like that and take them on as your own. And, <clears throat> you know, it, there definitely comes a point where you've got to actually really stop and ask yourself because like ultimately the happiness aspect of life is only going to come when you're actually living true to yourself. So, you know, is working that job, you know, a, actually a great example, you know, working a job, wanting to work for somebody else is not, it's not my idea of life. It is, uh, you know, perhaps my, well, it's social idea of life. Um, the online business aspect is still new as a social as um, element. It's obviously with my parents' generation and my grandparents' generation, it's the social norm. So it's their viewpoint. And when you start to really become clear on things for yourself, starting to get that, you know, these things are not your life that you're living. You're not being true to yourself. So take a step back and start to analyze the things that you want. Now, one thing that I found is good to work out what it is that you want is start with working out what you don't want. Because when you start to work out what you don't want, which it seems that a lot of us, uh, it, it, it's just easier to go, you know what, I don't want to be working a job. I don't want to be working for somebody else. I don't want to be constantly stuck in an office and having to show up on nine to five or Monday to Friday. I want to be traveling. I want to be doing all of these things. So when you really start to look at the things that you don't want, you can start to work out very clearly the things that you do want. And you can start to understand what's true for yourself. And, you know, another thing that can help in there as well is, is taking some time out, like take some time out from the people around you. And I say that just so that you can get clear on your own self, because when we're in and around circles of, um, friends, you know, whether they're trying to or not, we're all getting influenced by the people around us. You know, they talk about the sum of the five people around you is the sum of you, basically. So start to take a little bit of time out for yourself. Start understanding what's true to yourself and, you know, basically just start living your life. The other thing that you're going to come up against, of course, when you start doing that is the resistance and conflict and 
um, judgments and all of this other stuff from people around you because all of a sudden instead of going with the flock you're starting to go your own way now sure that can be tricky at times um, Charlie good morning buddy James morning bud uh, but it's also going to be part of the journey so that part of the journey is going to take a lot of strength that I'm not denying that that is definitely going to take some strength when you start to really branch out and go after what it is that you truly want um, because you're starting to live life on your terms you're starting to really go after it and it's you know I'll, I'll probably I might leave that one for another Facebook live um, I'll talk about that aspect later but um, yeah you just really got to ask yourself because everybody else is going to have an opinion on your life if you don't have a, an opinion of your own oh that's a good one let me go that one again everybody is going to have an opinion and an idea for your life if you don't have an opinion and an idea for yourself or a plan if you want to implement that word into that that sentence so yeah you're just going to start thinking about what is it that you're doing where are you heading um, what do you really want and I guess the other big thing and the other best part about it all is the fact that in the world that we live in there's no such thing as impossible there is so many things that you can do if you want to if you want to live that laptop lifestyle and travel the world earning like massive money on a you know daily basis monthly basis whatever you can do that if you want to go and invent some project you know, you know go and whatever the technology is there to be able to do it ah evening sorry James <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's probably Sunday there too, which is good because it's Monday morning here. But um, yeah, like there is nothing that's impossible in this world. Like we are blessed in this time and day and age that we are in. You know, if I want to be able to present and impact and influence and empower people, you know, the iPhone, the Facebook, you know, I have that platform to be able to do it. There's so many things that you can actually do in this world. You've just got to start to really get clear on what it is that you want. Um, so yeah, whose life are you living? And the other thing that we've got to appreciate in that as well is that nobody is going to make the changes. You have to make the changes for yourself. It's um. You know, I was going through a period, probably a couple of years ago, where things weren't going so well. And, you know, it, having, this, having the strength and clarity to be able to actually make the changes in that point in my life wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Um, and that's where, like, the three words that stuck to me, life with options. You know, look for something within that is going to empower you through the, through the challenging times and keep you moving forward. The words life with options for me means freedom. And it's the ability to be able to do what I choose on a daily basis, you know, whether I want to travel, all that sort of thing. Yeah, I agree, James. It um, is definitely... It's that's one of the reasons why I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV because there is a lot of negativity around and that's, um, you got to protect your mind. It's not, yeah, it's not that sort of stuff that you need. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, look for that. So if you're going through that challenging point at the moment, acknowledge that where you are, appreciate that it's not always going to be there and in, and know that you're the one that can do it. We all have that ability. And when you start to gather momentum at the very early stages, as you start to step out and start living life on your terms, the way you want to live it, following the dreams that you want, it's going to be challenging. Yes. Um, 
But I cannot promise you from where I am standing today, so close to making my dreams a reality, that it is worth it. It is worth it. And when you start to get clear on all of that, everything shifts. It, yeah, everything shifts. So, yeah, as said, guys, quick recap. Have a look for yourself today, tomorrow, what, wherever. You know, whose life are you living? Are you living for the approval of your parents? Are you living for the, the approval of your spouse, of your friends? And in that process, not feeling complete and fulfilled within yourself? Because if so, take some time out. Just be with yourself and get clear on the things that you want. And what I said, like a good way to find out what you want is to start with what you don't want. It is so much easier. We can all, it's, it, it seems to be easy to focus on the things that you don't want. You don't want to work the job. You don't want to be stuck in the office, whatever. Listen, write out a list of things that you don't want. Then look at it as what are the opposites of those? So what is the wants then? Because they're the things you need to focus on. Because if you keep focusing on the things that you don't want, you'll keep creating the things that you don't want. And you're never going to get there. Well, maybe not never, but it's going to take a long time. So get clear on that. Start to taking small actions today or towards the things that you do want. Appreciate there's going to be a bit of resistance and things by people around you. But it's just all part of it. It is. And as said, from where I stand, it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. Um, there's a few other topics that I'll be covering this week as well. And yeah, I just wish everybody a fantastic Monday. And for those in there that it's still Sunday, have a great evening. Um, and yeah, take care guys. All right, see ya.